Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I want to welcome you to my Monday morning Facebook Live. Please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, if this is your first time, if you've just found me, um, I'm so happy that you are here. Welcome. Um, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I truly do appreciate it. If you would do me a favor and show my um, video some love by giving me some hearts, sharing it with uh, your social media friends, because you just never know who among your friend list might just appreciate my crafting. If you're watching on YouTube, you are watching the replay. Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate it. If you um, haven't yet, please click in that subscribe that um, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from me, as well as that notification bell, so you get notified every time I've got a new video up. Um, so today we are going to be uh, creating with the sweets and treats. Um, stamp set. I'm just pulling, sorry, I'm trying to pull it up on my iPad and it's, again, it's not working. So as always, I will say hello after the fact. I will uh, go on and comment on all of your um, questions and all that kind of stuff. So, but before we get started, I want to remind you that my Nature's Harvest class to go registration is going on until September 10th. Um, we've got two different options. Option one is just the stamp set for $36 for porch pickup, add on for priority post mail to you. And option two is the bundle. That's the Nature's Harvest stamp set and the Coordinating Harvest dies. This um, is $89 for porch pickup. You have to add on for priority post mail to you. And if you choose this option, you're going to get a package of brushed metal adhesive back dots as a thank you from me as well. That price gets you a free celebration item. So be sure when you register, you let me know what celebration item you would like. Um, with this class, you're gonna create six cards, three different designs, two of each. You're gonna get a PDF with all of the measurements as well as a video for each one of the three designs. Um, so you can contact me if you'd like to register. All right, and then the the uh, paper pumpkin, the August or September paper pumpkin. I'm looking at the August date. <laughs> the September paper pumpkin is. Um, Haunts and Harvest, and it's going to create 12 treat boxes. So uh, registration for that, or sign up deadline for that, is also September 10th. All right, so this is the adorable card we are going to uh, be creating today. I'm on my tippy toes to see, because I cannot see any comments on my um, on my iPad. So. Good morning and thank you for joining me. So this is the adorable card we're gonna be creating. Um, yes, this is gonna be fussy cut out. There is no die for this, but you know what? It's so easy to cut out. And I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up, but I have used some um, of the Balmy Blue ink with my blending brush. So let's get started. I will have a coordinating post over on my blog afterwards. So uh, you can hop on over there to get the all of the measurements as well as the links uh, to purchase anything from my online store. So my colors are Balmy Blue and Gray Granite. And then my... Uh, blends colors because we're coloring with our Stampin blends. We've got dark crumb cake. We've got polished pink light and dark as well as the um, balmy blue uh, Stampin blends light and dark and I have colored my uh, 
very vanilla scalloped lace trim. This is what it comes like. And I have easily just colored that up with my Stampin' Blend as well so that I've got a fun color coordinated item. And then of course we're using some Subtle Shimmer Sequins. And the Designer Series paper is from the uh, Whimsy and Wonder. All right, so sometimes I find that the black ink is too dark. So I like to stamp my images when I'm gonna be coloring with the gray granite. I find it um, just a little bit lighter. I also like to use um, basic gray or smoky slate, depending on the image and what I'm looking for. So, okay, we're gonna set that aside to dry for a moment. And let's come in with our piece of um, cardstock and our balmy blue. And I have just ke um, kept my ink blending over here to the left side so that it's right underneath where my cupcake and strip of designer series paper and ribbon is going to be. So I'm just loading up my brush and then getting some of it off. So then I'm gonna start over here. I always start off so that I don't have a big smudge. And I'm gonna be using my um, polished pink Stampin' Blend to do that tiny bit of splatter on there as well. All right, so I think that should be good. Let's just see here. I like to just take my elements and set them there. So I think I wanna bring this down just a smidge more. And I've left my sentiment off of this so that I can use it for, uh, cupcakes can be for anything, but so I can use it instead, if I don't want it to be a happy birthday, it can be a, just a hello or a congratulations, whatever. Um, if you don't have a sentiment on there, you are, more, it's more versatile, right? Okay, so we are now going to take our, let me see, before I do this, I wanna just move all this stuff out of my way and I wanna see which one did I use because I created this card a while ago. So yeah, that, I believe it's that one. So for Okay, so this is the lighter right here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. And this is the darker. So depending on the intensity um, that you are looking for on your image, but can you see all my lovely splattering here? It just adds that extra little something, something, right? Okay, so. Actually, let's do the light. So when you're gonna splatter, you're very careful. You're not going hard. Um, you're using very light pressure. You're taking the brush tip end and putting it in the lid of your uh, blend and just over top and you're just flicking. I'm not using much pressure at all. And one more. There. Okay, that's done. Now let's take this, set it aside, and let's color our fun cupcake. So my cupcake is chocolate. So I've got my dark crumb cake here and I'm just gonna color in. Just like that. Now this is this one of the stamp sets that we, um, Diana Gibbs and I are including in our virtual fall social that is at the end of September. Registration is 
closed so I hope if you had wanted to take part you've already signed up so I'm just coming in and just adding a little bit just like that of my dark coming in with my light and coloring that. I know watching somebody color isn't always the most fun to do. And my light balmy blue is definitely running out. I just put in an order this morning and remembered to include a new balmy blue combo pack. ever do that forget oh darn I needed to get that I do that all of the time <laughs> so uh, I made sure I made a note don't forget to add that balmy blue blends so I'm just coming in here to add that little bit more And my tummy is making all kinds of gurgling. I do apologize. It's my two cups of coffee that I had this morning. So <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm a little noisy. And I'm just kind of going over those lines. awesome weekend. I hope you did as well. I was on the computer a whole lot um, with the Stampin' Up! Backstage. Okay, so now we're going to come in with our polished pink. I got lots of uh, notes taken. If you're watching and you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you took part, I'd love to hear what you thought. I absolutely loved it. Um, I found my eyes were a little tired at the end for sure because I'm not used to spending that many hours staring at a computer screen, but oh, the notes I took, the new business tips I learned, the inspirational speakers we had, both um, keynote speakers and fellow demonstrators. Oh, it was just so amazing. Almost done. I'm just going to go right beside there just so that area gets. And that's it. My cupcake is colored. So now let's just quickly cut it out. And let's see. Hello, Nancy. I'm on my tippy toes now, looking into my phone so that I can see. Hello, Darlene, thanks for joining. We've had quite a bit of rain here this weekend. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping we're done with it now. I'm hoping that the humidity here breaks soon as well. Here in Southwestern Ontario, it has been so hot and humid. We've been under heat warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings. Although nothing like 
um, the people down in Louisiana. Oh my gosh, the uh, Hurricane Ida. I've been watching a bit of the news on that and oh my gosh, I really hope that everybody is safe and that the loss is not too awful substantial with vehicles and homes and And there, see? Easy peasy. All right. So let's bring in our elements here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my, do I want, the, yeah, I think I want it this, this way here. So I'm just going to angle cut just like that and then I'm going to take my stamp and seal and run it whoops run that across and pull off that piece of my hair all right how far did we get down we need to go a little more What's going on with my tape here? There we go. So then I'm gonna take and place this right over top of, and there we've got our ribbon is stuck on, easy peasy. So then I'm going to, going to, because I don't have quite enough adhesive on there, I'm going to take a little bit more of my liquid glue, just a titch, and this is going to be centered. So just like that, and pull that up just a hair, I think, let's see, nope, down a hair. There we go. Give it a press. We need dimensionals. The minis here. We want to get some of these guys on here. All right. Let's just snip this off here. There we go. Brad and I finished the Fear Street, the three movies this weekend. If you like scary, it was very good. Very, very good. Okay, let's take our base. Of course, I couldn't watch all of it. I had to cover my eyes for some of that stuff. I like scary, I don't like that gory stuff. I find there's no need for that, but the storyline is very good. And we've got our inside piece here as well. Do you guys like scary movies? And Marshall's just come in, so hopefully he does not jump up on 
the desk. I can hear him. He's he's meowing. So there's our inside done. Oh, and here's Marshall. <laughs> you just never know. He's looking for attention and here he is. Good morning, Marshall. Life with cats is always entertaining. Okay, so now let's take our packings off of our dimensionals. And this is now going to be sitting over top right here. And I think that's straight. And then our little sequins and our bow somewhere on my desk. Oh, there it is. All right, so my tails are too long. I had gone ahead of time and created my bow. Snip. And we need a dimension or a glue dot. And I'm going to tuck that right there. And kind of squeeze that there. There we have that there. Now let's get some spots of glue for our beautiful uh, Subtle Shimmer Sequins. Do you guys have these? I love them. I hope that we get to keep these. Some items Stampin' Up! carries on through if they um, are well received. So I'm hoping everybody be, is purchasing these fabulous sequins because oh they are so lovely all righty so one and i love that we've got the different um colors in here we've got the white the soft kind of frosted silver and then the silver I'm looking for it. there we go there and then on the side we need one and Hard to tell these are so tiny whether or not I got it on my take your pick tool. There. Oh, and I picked up the other one. Oh, come on. There we go. Just using the end there to and there we have it that was a very quick and easy card like I said it didn't take long at all and just those little strips of your um, designer series paper those little off cuts that you have when you're cutting it down to put layers and all that it uh, it really does add just that little bit more interest to it. So let's take out my little desk vacuum and and look at that. And all my mess is cleaned up. I like that. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, I'd love to uh, hear from you. 
my email is, there we go, Marcy at stampinwithmarcy.com. Don't forget, we are still in the midst of celebration. So every $60 you spend before tax and shipping is going to get you a fabulous celebration item to choose um, from that brochure. So don't forget that um, if you're getting some cardstock or um, anything like that and you're just, you know, seven dollars away add some adhesive or something else like that to get that free re reward everybody loves free at least i do okay so i'm just gonna i'm on my tippy toes here to see because i cannot see all my comments here so let's see my con see if i can i can't see the video because i i did um send in an inquiry to uh, Facebook asking because I cannot see my comments. And I actually said, you're driving me to YouTube because I can't see my comments to talk to my viewers at that time. Which set am I using? I am using, Nancy, this is the Sweets and Treats um, that this came from. So that's this uh, cupcake right here. So it's the photopolymer, so super cute. Good morning, Sharon. You don't have these, Sharon? You are, um, you are signed up for my fall so virtual fall social. So you're getting a package of this um, in your uh, kit. Shh, don't tell anybody else. I don't know if we were supposed to say, but yeah, you're getting a whole package of these. So, <laughs> yeah, so anyhow, that is it for me for today. I will see you on Wednesday evening. And um, I'm, I'm thinking of moving my Wednesday YouTube live right now it's at 6 30 so if you could um if you're on YouTube watching the replay or if you're here on Facebook please let me know what time would you my YouTube is at 6 30 would you like me to move it um to earlier in the afternoon like four o'clock or would you like it to be at like seven o'clock at night or at five o'clock I'm just not sure I'm playing with the timing right now so uh, I want to make sure that I'm you know doing a time that suits both me and my viewers um, I'm actually also I was contemplating three o'clock in the afternoon so we'll see so I would love for you to comment and let me know what you would like um, and then we I can uh, look it all over and uh, make my decision from there so thanks again. Um, have a fabulous Monday. Stay safe if you are in the areas that are getting extreme weather. And um, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye for now.